It's the show that sucks with your hosts Harrison and Hanzo Gonzo. See, uh, see what kind of paper <laughs> you should be talk done. to talk to Art if you want to get that yeah, done. Yeah, if you need to contact <laughs> Spooky, you need to talk to Arturo. He's his secretary, so. Oh wow! This is for everyone. If you want to talk, contact Spooky at MYC Furby. Just ask him the question, and he'll relay it for you. He's very good at that. Oh, Arturo's the girl Friday in that business? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> With special guests from around the fighting game community. Is he going to answer? Yeah, no? <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> from the dead. Oh, are you crying? What happened? Uh, I forgot it was Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> And my phone's charging. Yeah, you are yeah. a terrible bison. How do you forget it's Tuesday? The worst part is you retweeted the tweet that said it was tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> retweeted it. Now for your hosts, Harrison and Hanzo Gonzo. What's up, guys? Hanzo is in a new location this week for episode 103 of the show that sucks. Uh... I am Harrison. I do uh, stuff here on iPad Winter. I am with Hanzo Gonzo. Um, I don't know what he does here, but he's 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 here. He's been here 103 times. Around. That's all I do. What do you do? I fart around. You fart, fart around. around? That's all you do? Yep. Yeah, I'm currently in Ocean Manor, a.k.a. Oh, we got a new special guest for the first time in about three months. Who? Oh. <laughs> yeah. But uh, anyways. Anyways. <laughs> uh, open up the show for us, Hanzo Gonzo. Wow, you put me in the spot. Oh, yeah. um, so we have a lot of things happen this week. Uh, let's talk about Candy Cup first. I completely agree. Did, how, did you watch it? Did you think it was great? Cause I thought it was I great. I watched a lot of it uh, initially, and I didn't watch it uh, most, most of the time until Grand Finals uh, for Street Fighter. Marvel was free. Everything was free about Marvel. It was just champ fucking slapping everyone with a dick. That's all it was. <laughs> And yeah, I mean the B versus Chan money matches. That's pretty super free. free. I don't think super B free. got a match to like the eighth game or something. Like the eighth game. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was a first to ten, and I thought he was gonna ten L, but it ended up being like first fifteen. <laughs> yeah, that's well, all. I really, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's kind of. Sorry, but uh, yep, uh, it was pretty free and. Uh, Marvel was free in general. There's a bunch of shitty players in Scania. Don't really blame them. If Joker's not there, I'm not interested. You know Joker's not the best. At least he tries. Um, what was I going to say? Union was okay. There was just Merkava's. It was, you know, standard Merkava fare. That was the only interesting thing about it. They had some decent Merkava's, but otherwise it all sucked. Per the course... Um, Street Fighter was very good though. I enjoyed Street Fighter. The, I mean, the little I watched of it. Street Fighter is always sick at Canada Cup. I feel yeah. like it's like there's never a Canada Cup where Street Fighter's like, oh, it sucks. No, like every there's always international players there, and there's always really really good top eight and grand finals, basically. Which uh, I mean, there weren't a ton of people watching it, I guess, but. I no, I it, feel it like had it, yeah. it had like two thousand viewers for like um, Union and shit like that, and I was like, wow, you know. Even Capcom had like you know three thousand viewers for some days, and I was like, that's not a lot. But what brought the viewers was uh, Pepe Day and Punko both being fucking nuts and yeah. going crazy in the brackets, and people that's what people want to see, you yeah. know. And uh, it definitely was crazy match winner finals was crazy. Any match of Ollie Puko or Paper Day was just nuts. Like, it's just, that's just, you know. That nuts. whole grand finals was absolutely ridiculous. I yeah. Felt like. Okay. So the grand finals was. Wait, insane. first before you talk about grand finals, let's let's not forget the fact that uh, Air got third with Poison. Yeah. I was watching that and I didn't understand what was happening. And I still don't. I don't know how he got in third. But apparently I, I Poison's know. really good. I still don't believe it, but. I don't know. I just like that Smug was really disappointed after losing new poison because I would be too. I would be too. I mean, you lost to a poison. <laughs> it's probably time to pack it up. You know, and just fucking <laughs> go to Canada to lose a Canadian poison. Like, I mean, let's be real. Uh, that, that's that's the point of your career when it starts going down. Like, it's not no longer an upward. Oh it's man, it's going down. You know. So uh, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, that was definitely weird. I saw that and I thought, I didn't think it was top eight. Like when I saw AR, I was like, yeah, this must be like semis. It's pretty late. And it was like, he's playing to get third place. I was like, oh, geez, I didn't realize. Um, but yes, the grand final is what everyone's talking about. And rightly so, because it was crazy. Punko won, I think, five straight matches. Five straight and, matches and a round. And a round. So he, he was, was up, round he was up five nothing with already taking a round in the last game. And Pepe Day was just pulling shit out of his ass. Like, it was the most, I don't know, like, Jerry He would get Riggs one went. combo and then just kill him. It was abs- uh, It was crazy. Yeah, and then he's doing EX, whatever the chest bump moves as Anthony Ayers and shit yeah. like that. And he was just doing stuff. And it was working. And, I mean, the thing that got him the win was, like, he, I think he ran backwards and then did have like almost a full screen chest press whatever it's called uh, and like the last frame hit him hit fucking punko and just fucking well, did punko so teleported and then he i'm pretty sure that's how it happened he, he tried to teleport he was so out far and away then it, yeah but it goes so far it goes so far i kissed his little mom everyone saw me and yeah everyone's getting hype about punko taking a shirt off punko always takes stuff off it's not new. Takes his belt know. off, chugs the Red Bulls. Yeah, he's always been that type of dude. He just, like, does something a little crazy and, like, unprovoked. Because, like, Punko was a pretty quiet dude. Uh, yeah. In person. Um, he's just this tiny, really tiny. He's, like, tall, smaller than me, I think. Uh, Korean dude. Yeah, I mean, I'd say you guys are pretty close height-wise, for sure. Yeah. And uh, he's just... Once he's playing, he just goes fucking nuts. Like, that's his play style. He just goes crazy. And, and gets angry. Like he always sets, talks about how angry he is. And, yeah. you know, I don't know how healthy that is, but whatever. I feel like long sets are kind of his thing to, Thing also. Like, that's why I was kind of surprised that he lost that that set, too. Because he plays really long sets all the time. That's true. Like, that's kind of all he does is just play he, super long sets. He's known as the machine not because of skill or anything like that. He's known as the machine because he'll sit there for 12 hours and play you. <laughs> yep. And won't get up. Nope. Like, he won't go to the bathroom. He won't drink anything. He'll just sit there and play you. And I think it's a very um, arcade-esque mindset in that sometimes you just sit down and you're on a win streak and you're just not getting up. Like, you ain't going to get a drink. You ain't getting nothing. You're going to win. That's what you're going to do. Yep. And unfortunately for him, he... he- didn't win. Maybe he should have taken a drink of Red Bull or something. He should have drank some Red Bull. <laughs> like, he needed it because he started, uh, started to peter out. Yeah, he kind of felt like, I don't know, like maybe showing signs like, hey, I already felt like I already won and kind of just stopped just playing solid. I don't know. But he didn't win yet, and he pulled it out. Yeah. And, and nice. so it's the type of character where you can kind of take some hits and then just do, like, two combos. And you're in there. Like, you already fucking made up for it. You almost killed him. Like, yep. And Forte does so much damage for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he does so much damage. It was literally two combos and you die. And he yeah. wouldn't even stun Seth either. That was the crazy part. And Elta Forte has, like, tons of stun because it was run stop fierce. But, uh, yeah. yeah. It was it was the best grand finals in... Very long time. Yeah, very long time. Very, very long time. And I can't wait for Capcom Cup because I think that's a good, um, you know, I think this it. was the last tournament leading into it. That's oh, there's NEC, big names. right? Yeah, but I'm talking about like big name internationals. Okay, yeah, internationals there. for sure. I don't think NEC is going to have the repertoire that Canada Cup had. And um, yeah, it's pretty much the last look until Capcom Cup. And I don't know, if is Paper Day going? I don't think so. Uh, to Capcom Cup? Yeah, I think he didn't. He win something? Did yeah. Think? Um, I thought he won the qualifier for, uh, the Tokyo Game Show thing, right, or something like that. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He won. Tokyo but I'm Game not Show, sure yeah. if that was a qualifier or not this time. I don't oh know, yeah, I'm people not... are mentioning chat. DreamHack is coming up. I forgot about that. There's, you know, um, infiltration always goes to that. And I'm and sure right uh, be... Game Review is going to do it too. Oh yeah! Oh I yeah! Saw, I saw like, somebody, today. Uh, somebody bought like his plane ticket or something, so he'll he'll be going to DreamHack, which is pretty sick. And he went last time too. Remember that was a sick, crazy grand finals with uh, Gamer V and Daigo. Remember? 
With I like believe the, that. With yeah, like the six was... or seven uppercuts in a row. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was um, that. That was Gamer that B was one. using Yun. Is that time he's uh, Yun? I don't think so. You Pretty sure it was no, because there's a, there's no way he would pick Yun over Adon in that fight because Adon does pretty well against Ryu. You but might be thinking of him versus Reinhardt or something. You might be. I don't know. It was a while ago. Um, people are saying that uh, Pepe they want a trip to E though. Oh, that's cool. That, that was the TGS thing. So I mean, oh, oh yeah, that's right, that's right. TGS, yeah, you guys are right. Yeah, um, I'm just, I just want to see Pepe Day at. Capcom Cup to make everyone mad, and I will. I enjoy still watching think he's well. the smartest player like in the world right now. He's so. That's what you have to be with. Like I know people say fourth day is really random, but to play that fast is so hard. Like he has to play really fast, really reactionary, and he has to outthink people at the same time. So yep. it's really, really, really hard to do. It's almost like a Marvel player. Like I know Marvel's more setup based than people give it credit for, but you do have to think really fast. So, he kind of reminds me of that. Plus, his combos are just... He has, like, the crispiest links with those run-stop... Um, um, what is it called? Medium kicks? Crush medium kicks? He has, like, three. Those are I can never, so hard to do. I can never those are do harder I can't even do... Than, I can't even link one. Like, those are run-stop... <laughs> like uh, those are harder than his fierce run-stop fierce, too. Yeah. Or run-stop fierce. His, his run-stop combo. It's way yeah. harder. The only thing Paper Day is not really good at is doing the full and stop your but that's so hard to do the full one. Like I'm like, dude, he nailed it like four times against Punko flawlessly. So he he just doesn't do it a whole lot because I I think he's just not comfortable with like his ranges against certain characters because his it close is, it is character his, uh, his close specific. fierce really doesn't reach from that far away and a lot of characters have goofy hitboxes where sometimes. Close stand fierce won't even hit him. I don't know. It's it's just he. I I think he feels more comfortable just going right into low forward and do KCD a bomb, as opposed to trying to go for a big combo. But when he does, he really knows the ranges where instead of doing uh, regular run stop fierce, he'll do stand fierce ex run. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was gonna mention because uh, the reason why he does that is I believe it has something where you run faster or you can stop the move faster because of the ex bar. I believe usage. you can stop it. You can stop it faster? Yeah. So that's why he uses that. So when he gets farther away, he can run a little bit, stop, and then continue to get that combo when normally he wouldn't be able to. And I think it has something to do with, like, he was saying uh, it's easier to do that when he's holding Quesadilla Bomb, too. I don't know why, but yeah, I can't, that's what I heard my, also. My biggest thing in fighting games is I can't hold buttons. I don't know why I can't do it. I'm just super bad at holding buttons. That's why I don't play Zero. That's why I don't play Virgil. You know, I just cannot hold buttons for whatever reason. Like, it's so foreign to me. And for someone to do that, like, do mid-combo, you know, incredibly hard combo to hold a button, it's too much for me. Like, it's... it's. I know it's easy for some people, but for me, it's really hard. Yeah, for so, me, because I play all, Cody. All the props to anyone can do that. Um, Although Cody's combo is, like, Holding Bingo Punch, I, I can't do any combos with that move, so definitely not as not as hard. But yeah, you're not doing one frame links while holding another button. Like. Yeah, that's it's insane. <laughs> yeah, that shit's crazy to me. Yeah. I don't know. Yep. Yeah. There's also I can't remember the names for some reason, but it was an Evil Ryu versus a Balrog, and it was the craziest comeback I'd ever seen in my entire life. If you no. guys, if somebody in chat knows what I'm talking about, and say it, but it was a Balrog versus an Evil Ryu, and Evil Ryu was up like 80% life, and this Balrog just came back with literally no life left. It was crazy, and it was super hype. I expect many EX headbutts were had. Yes, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mike Balrog versus the Prince. Yeah, man, that that match was so hype. It was so good. I'll probably have to go back and watch it. It sounds fun. I like comebacks in Street Fighter because, like, you can tell the other players, like, okay, I'm getting hit, but it's okay. I'll just, like, wake up, up you know, chip them out with some scrubby way to do it, and it's not working. <laughs> they, don't have, they don't have the chance to do it, or they're fucking up, and they just slowly lose. It's... I think he hit him with three EX headbutts, and then he chipped him out with a fourth EX headbutt. <laughs> like, it was so ridiculous. 
when you said come back and borrow, I was like, he yeah, said that. I, mean, I already know, right? <laughs> That's the only way I could think. Um, I also I thought uh, Mike Ross was really good on commentary too, like for grand finals. I thought he was good. I forget, but I don't think he worked for it. I think when Gut or when Gutex and Mike Ross aren't commentating together, they're good. But when they're commentating together, they suck. Like I would never want them to commentate together. Well, they have plenty of times. And Ever. I think I think they suck together, which sucks for them because I bet they like doing it together. It's kind of like, like Ultra Chin, though. I think Ultra Chin's better with other people too. <laughs> like, <laughs> honestly, I think they're much better with other people. Because I'm being frank. I mean, Mike Ross is that guy who is gonna be like he won't just gonna want to take charge. You know what I mean? And when he's commentating with Gutex, like I don't, I I feel like he's kind of afraid to do that, and so they both just kind of sit there, and then like somebody tells a joke, and they just laugh about it for like five minutes, and like that's their commentary. <laughs> 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 yeah. Gutex laugh, man. I know he can't help it, but Jesus. Yeah. But yeah, yeah the fact that he's always comment. laughing that gets me. That's and like Gutex, Gutex saying... commentary. Yeah, people like, are saying. I laugh too. Gutex? Yeah. Well, you know, well, I laugh. Anyways, uh, so yeah, Kingdom Cup was cool. Um, they, I didn't get to see the after hours. I, th- I don't know if it was streamed or I missed it or something. I remember waiting for it for like an hour and I was like, I guess I'll come back when someone someone's dying or something. Usually it happens every year. Um, people on Twitter would be like, oh no, someone's, you know, Mago's, Mago's on him. Or some shit, and I'll go and watch it. But uh, yeah, I don't know if they had an after hours. I like, I didn't get to watch they had it. After hours, uh, Slash tweeted a picture of it, and Did I'm pretty sure that I I want to say there was a stream. I must have I must have been impatient, but uh, I know everyone enjoys that. That's like the crown jewel of Canada Cup. So hopefully everyone had fun. We had some NorCal cats up there, so hopefully they uh, had a good time. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, but Canada Cup actually went positive this this year. Um, they didn't go negative, which is the first year, because uh, they always talk about how um, you know they pour money into Canada well, yeah, and that actually was kind go of the negative every year, right? I'm Where, sorry, what was that? That was kind of the big thing last year, right? Hey, we spent all this money and, and no one we showed didn't, up. We, yeah, we didn't make anything, so we're not gonna do another one. And yeah, well, I guess they did it better this time because yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm sure they reevaluated their costs, rented a smaller space, you know, uh, accounted for, you know, how many people showed up last year and was like, you know what, they're probably going to be the similar amount, so we're going to have a venue that supports just that. And it looked pretty packed for the venue size. Yeah. The venue might have been small, but it, it was a perfect size for people there. I mean, when the crowd was going crazy for Pinko taking off his shirt for, and uh, – it looks pretty packed. So, I mean, I think that's one of the reasons. Venue is, like, the biggest cost, like, to be honest. Like, yeah. venue, and then well, right then after I, that is, like, setups. I think like, their biggest cost last time was got to be flying out all those players, right? That, too. I, mean, they, I don't know if they flew out that many people this I want to say, like, did Punko? Did they fly out Punko? I think Twitch did. Twitch really? flew out both of them. So, it kind of seems like they didn't really spend any money on outside players getting there this year. Yeah, and Twitch has really been stepping up and getting internationals to American tournaments, which is great. Um, I like to see them maybe send some unsponsored players over to, like, Topanga or something. I think that would be cool. Um, Because for now, Twitch has only been supporting the internationals coming to American events, which is fine. No one's saying that's bad. But I just think that it would be cool if they would help American players as well. They don't have to because I don't think that's their scene. Like yeah. that's their focus. They want to improve the streams. They don't really necessarily want to improve, you know, uh, like God's Garden stream or some shit. You know, I don't know. I don't think they're that interested in the Japanese streams outside of like Mad Cats produced streams, stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, they obviously just want to make their a lot of the the streams. Uh, well, I guess it was the the TGS one was on Twitch, but a lot of those overseas things aren't twitch so yeah that's the like thing. That's yeah the thing. i think that's what you're just saying like what what's the point of you know spending like sending like 
say smug over to to Panga League when it's streamed on Nico. Like, the there's no real point for them to ever do that. Yeah, well, I don't know. They should be poaching. Uh, the, the Japanese sh- servers are kind of iffy nowadays, so I don't know if they even want to develop it until they get better servers over there. That's kind of what they did with Europe. Europe used to have shitty servers back in the day. Like, yeah, really shitty. Horrible. I remember that's what... <laughs> yeah. And yeah. they improved it, and then they started, you know, having people out there and having, you know, working on DreamHack and doing all this other stuff. So, you know. Maybe they want to do the same with Japan. Just it's just in the future. Um, but uh, yeah. So it was a good event. Um, I'm looking forward to the Master Series. They kept promoting it, and uh, I was what thinking is it was the a, Master Series? Yeah, it's a five v five event. It's kind of like the old Canada Cup, except it's only the five on five event. So people don't have to you know show up and you know play. Play like singles, singles and everybody's yeah, like, hey, so, we're waiting for so and so. Yeah, none of that. Yeah, so it's really just the 5v5, I'm pretty sure. Uh, at least that's what's advertised from the advertisement I saw. And the grand prize is $20,000, which is fucking insane to me. Damn. But that's so the grand four prize. G's. So that's 4Gs a person? I believe so. And so, I mean, that's a lot of money, even per person. Like, Where is well, it? Is it? Is it it's in Canada. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So I believe that is um, coming up uh, December. I think it's in December. December? Yeah, I don't know the exact format. I'm Can't be that sure late December five. because it's Capcom Cup, and then there's uh, is it NEC that's in December also? Or I don't think it's NEC. I don't know. Right? I'll it's have to find tournament. out more information on it. I'll probably talk about it next week because. All I saw was passing advertisements, so I really don't know all about it. But um, I'll try and get that information for you. Because, okay. I don't know. Sounds like I'm all about big money. I'm all about team tournaments going on when there's no other kind of tournament going on. Yep. Yep, yep. Anyways, um, so there's been big news coming out of SoCal. I know kinda... you wanted to talk about this. Huh? I said, I, I know you wanted to talk about this or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So, Photo? um, Super Arcade has officially parted ways with Level Up. And Level Up uh, is currently um, in a limbo state from what I understand. And that um, they're not going to be hosting events at Super Arcade. That means that Wednesday Night Fights and the Runback are temporarily somewhere. I don't know where the hell they're at, but... Are they um, really? They're not hosting anything? I guess they don't have that, anything, right? Because... Not that I know. Up. There's no venue There's no venue in SoCal that would hold people that's actually uh, habitable and consistent that's not Super Arcade. There's UGC, but that's very far away for people. And uh, Super Arcade is far, but there's enough people to sustain it at its location. And if you go to UCI then you're not going to guarantee to have the every Thursday and Wednesday, you know, every week because that's a student body organization. So sometimes they might have a week-long thing or sometimes they might have, you know, fucking boys boys and girls club meetings fucking Wednesdays. I don't know what the fuck they do there. Um, so, yeah, you can't be guaranteed, you know, Wednesday and Thursday. And consistency is important. That, and, I mean, I think there's... I think somebody was saying, yeah, they're just hosting it up in some warehouse or something. That's what people are saying in the chat. But uh, I, I don't mean, know. There's no, there's no official things that I've seen that has said that. Maybe I mean for level up, or, not not super. Maybe okay. Vice said it on a stream, but no level up tweet unless you can show it to me. Uh, and from my knowledge, I don't even know if they're going to be doing anything. Um, so that leaves um, Super Arcade in a precarious position because um, there's two things um, about this. So if Super Arcade has... I right, disregard terms... what I said. I get trolled too easily. Yeah, Maybe I don't know. Sorry. There's no... I mean, I would imagine like Vi would like coast something, right? I mean, he did before. I mean, when why would he need like, to if, you know, if he has all this esports shit going on? Let me, let me what esports shit? 
He does. They level up does a lot of esports stuff. Like what? I don't know. Like, like I'm not involved. You don't even know, and they do a lot. Of they stuff. do that World of Tanks stream. They did a they did fucking. One. They did a Dota stream when it was in Las Vegas so that's for two. Uh, EG. It was uh, D2L. They did D2L. They did. Um, they do trade events for Twitch, I believe. I, don't, I think they did PAX and one of the Texas ones. I forget. Um, they got a bunch of stuff going on. Okay. You know? And those pay a lot, to be honest. That's all I needed here. And they did COD for MLG. It's supposed to be really insane. You know. And they streamed at MLG for five years. So they have stuff um, that would sustain them, not weeklies. And, like, how how much of the weekly is really sustaining them? Like, they're getting 2,000 viewers. You know, they got 2,000 viewers the last time. You know, that's nothing. That's nothing comparative to, you know, Spooky gets fucking shits 10K. When he's just sitting there talking about, I don't know, Teenage Mutant or what the fuck Spooky talks about, you know. And, you know, he has 10K. You know, that's, uh, it's, he's not even trying. I think well, it's I mean, we can, we can spend a whole show breaking down on what Spooky does right and what level up Oh, yeah, wrong, he does a lot so. of things right. I'm not, I'm not saying yeah. Spooky just sits there and leave, but, you know, when, you know, Vi is trying to do all these grudge matches and he's fucking doing all this shit, he's doing all this promotion and... You know, Spooky's just having a tournament and he's getting more. It's kind of discouraging, I would I would think, if I was a tournament organizer that was competing. Um, and the fact that, um, you know, the run back has been like a constant, like, flux of... I mean, we were talking about it. Like, you know, sometimes it's KI the entire time. And then sometimes, you know, it's fucking, you know... PlayStation All Stars and a little bit of Marvel, and then you know some random man game. Like you never know what's happened. Like at least with any of that fights, you're like, okay, it's gonna be Street Fighter mainly, and maybe we can have a side game, something like that. Yeah. Uh, but the run back has been a jumbled mess forever. It's been that way for a long time, ever since Marvel has kind of dipped out of the spotlight. Yeah. So it's, it's all these things compounded. Where how profitable and how manageable was it even having it? Like those streams. Like obviously Super Arcade enjoyed it because they got people. But if people don't show up to these Wednesday and Thursday tournaments just because there's no level up stream, then you know, do you really want them at your arcade? Like, I'm sorry. Like, if they're that vain that they need a level up stream and not have Mondo stream it, then I don't. I don't, I don't think, think that, they're there. I don't think having not having a stream is their biggest problem. I don't think that is even. That's whatever for for Super Arcade. For level up, it's like yeah, that's their shit, right? But for for Super Arcade, that's I I feel like that's not. It might bring in some people, but I feel like it's they don't need it in order to get people there. As no, I, so that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's I don't think it's a big problem that level up pulled out. Um, the only thing the only problem that, is is that level up supplied the setups and things like that. And so, if yeah. level up does have some random warehouse tournament, where the fuck you said um, on Thursdays and Wednesdays. Then they're gonna split the scene. Like yeah, say, yeah. say it's closer to Lancaster people. I know a lot of the the Street Fighter guys actually live up there. So what if there's a Street Fighter tournament near them, like thirty minutes away instead of an hour? Uh, I mean, obviously you'd have to choose, and that's hard for a scene to choose between venues on the same day. Um, it would be, have to be something to work out. But Super Arcade has tournaments all the time. Like they have them Wednesday, Thursday. They have Friday casuals, and then they have. Saturday so, tournaments and they have Sunday Smash tournaments. You know that's a lot, a lot of days. Like yeah. most of the days they have a tournament. That's like every day they're open too. The people forget that they're not open on Monday or, or Tuesday. Yeah. So it's really like they survive off the tournaments and they are focused on tournaments. So they're gonna do whatever they can yeah. to keep those people. And if Level Up does indeed compete with them, then they're killing their own scene. Like they're it's bad. You can't do it. If they start competing with the Super Arcade, then they're destroying the SoCal scene. That's all it is. That's all there is to it. Like, you can't split the scene like that. You know, UCI is... Especially when it's been like that for so long, too. Yeah. It's just bad. And we've all know, like, those kind of scenes are, like, kind of fragile, too, I feel like. You get one or two weeks where, you know, oh, I'm not going to go because so-and-so is not going, and it kind of... It kind of can take a turn for the worse really quickly in my opinion, and you don't see it coming either. Yeah, I um, mean, we have that problem up here for a number of reasons uh, with two arcades yep. fairly close to each other. 
And, you know, it sucks. It sucks the uh, people that choose, you know. People don't go to places because, you know, that guy's a dick. Mm, you know, shit like that. It's just it's just bad for the scenes. Um, but uh, another thing is that um, the whole Daigo isn't going to Moment 37 thing. I guess Daigo is going now, confirmed. That's and I guess... Um, I guess, I don't know who's streaming. I think Level Up was supposed to stream it, or they were never contracted to stream it. I don't know. But I'm going to assume Mondo is going to be streaming it on the Super Dojo channel now. Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I don't, I don't see why not. I don't think it's a problem, but they just don't have a good, um, especially on Super Dojo, they don't have a good subscriber base. They don't have a good favorite, or where the fuck it's, is it following base? Followers? Yeah, followers. Um, Subs is the money. Yeah. So they have no followers, and they don't really have leverage of getting um, front page, which doesn't matter if you're a small. Which okay, uh, it doesn't channel. matter. It won't. You're a small channel. It won't probably won't matter for this event, because let's face it, if Daigo's gonna be there, that means Twitch will probably be there at some point because of Mike Ross. They're gonna have promotion from Mad Cats and Twitch, and. Yeah, People but Wednesday Night Fights and the Romac were always on the front page. They were always had front page access. Like, it wasn't even... Like, you can always go up there, and they're always one of the five. So, with the... I don't... I think it's a level-up deal. So, I don't think that it's going to extend the Super Dojo. And they're going to try and... I don't think it'll be that hard for them to get on the front page. Like, if they can... If they can have the stream just as well as they did last time, which it probably will, because if... If you're like you were saying, Mondo was doing it, and he has his own stuff, I'd imagine, right? Probably gonna be pretty close to the same. As long as it's like that, I I don't see it being that hard. I just think that, kind of that SoCal, especially Super Arcade, is such like that's like the basis of the scene. It's like Super Arcade, and that's like where it all stems from. And there's UCI. Don't get me wrong, I like the UCI guys a lot. Um, but Super Arcade is kind of like the face of SoCal. Uh, I mean, even San Diego has you know their own streams and shit, and they're yeah. great. Um, but I feel like Super Arcade, it's important for them to be successful or and to have viewers in order to have the scene you know grow because they're really dependent on that kind of stuff. I feel like being like you know, I think it, it elevates their their players and they get more confident as a result because i mean it does help i mean look at you know uh next level battle circuit you know smug is you know when Smug beats sanford he knows there's ten thousand people watching and you know that might fuel him up you know he knows yeah. that he gets to talk shit to that many people and you know they're all laughing about it you know that's a good feeling you know and you know it could be a thousand people and i'm sure he'd still be the same person but you know it's something about like a lot of viewers that get some players more motivated to do well. It also helps that while, you know, if it might be a little bit on the side where the players are vocal. It, it helps. I mean, I guess it helps definitely helps spooky that, you know, like he has people like Arturo and smug and Sanford and just all of these guys like on Twitter and like constantly blowing it up too, as opposed to all these guys on the West coast fucking don't say anything like I ever agree. um but yeah so business wise i think super arcade will be fine but i honestly think they need to either get sponsors or partner with someone who has sponsors because if they don't have it long term and they don't have actual special events being ran there like they're probably not gonna get that much out of you know Level up leaving because I think level up leaving is an opportunity for them. It's not a uh, not death sentence, more of an opportunity to actually prosper. And I think that's um, I think a lot of people in the region, you know, like going to Super Arcade when there's not level up events, you know, because it's more of just playing games and not about you know the stream and not about all this stuff. So I feel like it's an opportunity for them to have a more arcade experience and more arcade focused stream. Which I think a lot of people enjoy, you know. I think people just want to see people being themselves in an arcade, not all this fucking fake grudge bullshit, low tier god fucking jerking off Viscant into his fucking face. Who cares? Like I don't care about that. It's funny. I don't care. Like 
Like, it's... I just rather watch people play games. That's all I care about. And I might be, like, old-fashioned in that regard. But I feel like a lot of people do care about that stuff. Um... But yeah, I think that they need sponsors though, and they need special events. Like, because if they don't have an SCR to sustain them, like obviously, Level Up has SCR to get them, you know, get them all the players recognition, gives them something to do, money, all this other I stuff. Don't think sponsors. They need, I don't think they need that. They need like something though, like a, a curly mustache type of it, you know. Yeah, I mean that's cool, but they don't need like an SCR. No, I'm not. Like, I'm not, I'm not talking about a... like running out, you know, fucking convention center. They need shit at their. At yeah, I'm venue. talking about, hey, let's do a giant 100 man round robin or something like that. You know, something like that. Some some series to do. Something I mean, recurring. It's easy to do something like that. It's really easy. It's really they, easy. But I'm just saying they need to do it. That's the hard part. I mean, I have an example, but I, I saw, I'm waiting for a question to bring it up. But yeah. Yeah. I don't think this. It's. I think everybody will be fine. I don't think this is going to change anything for anybody in socal to be honest i think people are still going to show up i still think the only thing that super dojo has to worry about is getting setups because they just spent all that money rejuvenating the arcade and getting those machines and also i i really don't like the fact that people i saw it a lot when the announcement happened that people like wow i donated all this money to fucking super arcade and all of a sudden level up pulls out wow it's money wasted what kind of idiots are you that to say that <laughs> it's nothing yeah, i saw that is not there you're donating to the arcade you're not donating to fucking level up are you like thick-headed like i don't get it like they still have a stream they still have this stuff you can go there you can physically go there if you really want it's it's a place um, I don't get why people are like, wow, my money's wasted. Like, I just, that's the most idiotic thing I've ever fucking seen. And if you've said that, then you should probably just jump off the bridge. Like, I don't get it. Like, just stop breathing. Like, who cares? What do you think? Yeah. That's my two cents. If you guys have questions, you can send them to at Harrison SBA and at Hans Agonzo on Twitter. Um, should we jump to questions, I guess? I believe that's that's kind of it. Yeah, I mean, there is some other stuff. Um, like what? I don't know. I just said that. <laughs> 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 um, there's something to do with... I've been playing a lot of Guilty Gear lately, just so everyone knows. I've been playing Faust. I'm sure some people care about that. I'm getting decent. So, there's there's that. So, I'm pretty pretty excited about that. Um, uh, I forget. There's something I forgot. There's something there. You'll remember Anyways. after the show's over. Yep. At the Hound 2 ask, would you guys do a taco challenge stream where every time you lose, die, you eat a taco? Taco Tuesday. Um, and that's what I was, that's, that's the question I was going to bring up when you were saying some kind of special event. <laughs> taco uh, Tuesday. uh, well, we had Taco Cup, remember? At Southtown Arcade? We did. We and, did have Taco uh, Cup. It was... I thought it was good. I thought it was a lot of fun. Was... Lots of people showed up. We had super crazy hype matches. And <laughs> it was funny. that was, was funny so day. incredibly easy to set up. Yeah. It was just asking people who play there to play each other. And, like, yep. it really... That's all it was. And it was still great. It was... Yeah, it was... It was great. And if you won, you got tacos. Like... Yep. I did not win. You did not win, and you received a no tacos. <laughs> that was the that was the mixtape that, that got made on me. Do you remember that? Uh-uh. <laughs> fucking Tommy's fucking uh, fucking team super. That was the Modoc uh, Frank West. That was the dawn of it. Oh, Do you really? remember that video you made? The smart stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's on it's on the iPhone on YouTube. If you guys want to see it? It's smart stuff. I forget what it was called, but uh, it's one of them. And it's like me getting hit by Modoc THC. Yeah, just search smart stuff, the smart stuff Hanzo Gonzo, and it should pop up. Yeah, it's me getting hit by like seven times. <laughs> no, more like 17 times. <laughs> and Harrison's just like, well, I'm guy by again. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they could do a taco thing. Uh, Jack in the Box is right in that parking lot. Oh, uh, my if God. Been, if you ever been to Super Arcade, they literally are next to a Jack in the Box. So. I did Same tell Infrit I'd buy him a taco next time I went down there. Damn. But okay. he didn't. Oh, wait, he did buy me a beer at Evo. 
So yeah, I we need to get drinks from him first. I That's will cool. buy him a taco next time I'm down there. They could, they could do taco, taco <laughs> Wednesdays. No, they should do, they should do like tacos. on the weekend or something. But yeah, you Maybe just need to be creative. That's all. Yeah, right, so I agree. So stupid stuff like that. And at the, at the yeah. end of the day, it doesn't matter how stupid it is. Everybody just wants to play video games. That's it. It's just an excuse for people to get together. That's all. Yep. That's then. it. Um, at Detecting the Rudo asks, do you think taking off your shirt will be the new trend in the FGC during tourneys a la Punko? Um, I mean, it's happened a lot before. I mean, Killer Kai's done it twice already. Um, I'm sure yeah. there's other people on the East Coast who've done it that I haven't seen. Some Xanadu tournament or some shit. I don't know. Um, sure. I mean, it's it's not new, <laughs> but why not? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We might get banned. I know. As soon as that happened, I was like, Mike Ross is on coming down. I was like, Mike Ross, stop this. What are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. He totally was. He was on I commentary. forgot. That's hilarious. Oh, he man. Was, he was getting hyped about it. I was like, Mike Ross, you're going to get No. Oh, Mike, what are you God. doing? You know, what's actually funny is um a popular uh, Dota streamer, Arteezy, uh, who plays for EG, for those of you who follow Dota, he actually uh, was like, I'm going to get banned. And like, so he started streaming shirtless, and everyone in the chat was going crazy. Like, there's like, you're going to get fucking banned. You're just streaming shirtless in the dark. Apparently they don't care if you're a dude. So I don't think they really care. I don't think they care at all because I've seen Casey Strong. <laughs> I've seen her stream. It's the same shit. So I'm just like, whatever. I think she probably asked someone or has someone on her side or something. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. As long as they're I'm making a money, I don't think they really care. Yeah, and she has big tits. So at this I mean, point, she can... at this point, maybe when they make more money, which that's saying a lot, but. I mean, they're already billionaires. Yeah, they're already billionaires. <laughs> so I don't know, like, how much more they can make before they start going. Oh, oh, we gotta, we gotta start, you know, actually doing something. I don't know. Uh, uh, Jared Mage asks. So does the uh, Canada Cup Grand Final for Street Fighter Four get a nomination for Match of the Year and Most Goof Troop? It's definitely Goof Troop. Definitely Goof Troop. I agree in that sentiment. Um. Match of the year, though? I don't know. We'd have to wait until a Capcom Cup. I'd have to I'm... look back, too, at some stuff. Yeah, and then we'd have like... to look back. Because I think we're at the end of the year show. We're going to do, you know, word things. We, we should. Like the fray. Rip. Yeah, somebody has to do it, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I go Chris. I mean, Chris's house saying that shit. <laughs> uh, Jordan Mage also asks, game of the year? Hanzo, what's your game of the year? Um... Honestly, I was... I think this. I saw somebody say that this this year sucked for games, and I no. think they kind of have a point. I think I, they kind of have a good point. Mm, like I'm trying to think, I was saying fighting game. I'd honestly say Union because Union is very good and I quite enjoy it. Um, game wise, I'd have to look at my Steam. Uh, I think I've been enjoying. Um, not Civ Beyond Earth, no. Endless Legends fun, but it's broken. I'm trying to think of earlier games I played though. I didn't. I don't think I played any games this year. I think you're right. I don't think I played any games. I can't if, remember. If you want to know how, how great of a year this, how great of a year it was for games, I'm playing WoW right now. This is how. That's how good Harrison, of a year. You need I'm, to stop. Here's I'm gonna go to your house and stop you. <laughs> That's how good of a year Harrison. this is. I am playing that game over other games. That's how good of a year it's been. Harrison. Although. I'm going to uninstall it. I know. Speaking of good games, Dave says, won't you play Halo with me? I want to so badly. Dude, I was going to buy a fucking Xbox One. I want to go oh. buy an <laughs> Xbox One and just play Master Chief Collection because Halo 2 looks fucking godlike. I was going to, because I, um, I actually watched, um... I watched that uh, tournament. Actually, that was one of the things I watched. The Halo 2 had this tournament where they had fucking T-Square and all these motherfuckers um, playing Halo 2. And I used to watch Halo 2 competitive a lot on MLG with the ogres and mother ogre twins and shit. Um, and it was, it was so fun to watch. I, I really enjoyed it. I was drinking. I was literally drinking Game Fuel and watching ha uh, Halo 2. And I was like, I actually did this when I was 12. Like, I literally did that when I was 12. When Halo 3 came out, the Game Fuel... 
So drink that. Watch Halo Competitive. And yeah. Hella fucking down for Halo 2. That's like... Yeah. And it I looks fuck, really good, it. too. And they added new shit. I'm pretty high for that. Also, I forgot. BlizzCon was this past week, and everyone's typing it up in chat, but Overwatch, I wanted to actually talk yeah. about it. Overwatch was announced, uh, which is a uh, team-based shooter from uh, Blizzard. Yep. I'm super fucking hyped for that, dude. I fucking love Team Fortress games. So... See, uh, I don't Blizzard like him at all. Game? So, gonna... I don't like him at all. What I am uh, hyped for is hopefully it's good. Evolve. That's I'm hoping that's good too. Because oh yeah, it's I saw, made by I saw this, gameplay on that. It's it made looks... by the same people that made Left 4 Dead, and I love Left 4 Dead. So it's a great game. Um, and my friend is working on it. So oh, that's cool. Yeah, but I mean, there's a character called Hanzo in the game. In is there? yes, it's called Hanzo. So I have to play him. It's a Japanese dude with a bow and arrow. So I can't. It's like they made it after me. Yeah, you know, I'm Japanese. So. He uh, looks pretty cool, and I'm hyped for that game. I love team based series, and it looks very well done, and everything looks cool about it. So I'm all I'm all about it right now. And everyone seems interested in it, and I yeah. So I'll have plenty of people to play with. Maybe I'll make a FGC plan or something. I think next year, sucks. next year will be a good, good year for games. Oh yeah, Mortal Kombat 10 is coming out. I've been yeah. watching some footage on that. It looks amazing. You know, it was a good game that I played a lot. That, you know what, Diablo 3, the expansion, Reaper of Souls, is really good. Like, I thought it was really good. I thought it was really fun. I like Diablo 3, but I just, I can't get out of my mind. Diablo 2 is good. Yeah, I mean, play too much Diablo 2. It's my problem. Yeah. Uh. Derek asks, who, by the way, won the Who Is It game that I still need to send out. Uh, Dude, I have a story about that. Let me ask a question first. Uh, with uh, Mike C. discovering the drivers for PS3 6 to work on with PS4s, how many companies will end up using it? None. <laughs> yeah. I don't, why would they do it? Like, why would they? Honestly, I I might tweet Arxis to ask him to use it for Xrd. But I doubt they will. I mean, they want to sell PS4 sticks. That's, I that's mean, really what it is. Yeah, that's that's it. I don't think there's really anything. I mean, it'd be cool if they did. And hell, I'm sure people will come out with hacks and stuff to so you can. But she I don't think hack. they'll do it on purpose. Yeah. They're not going to do it on purpose. It's like and everybody was complaining, oh my god, guys, we've got to buy another controller for Xbox One. It's like, dude. They've been doing this since forever. They, nobody's ever used the same controller. Except Wii. That's the only console, I believe. That you didn't have to buy like some kind of crazy converter or something in order to use the previous console on it. To my knowledge. I think you're right. I think every other console, you've had to do it. So People are saying the Xrd stick is already a PS3 and PS4 stick, though. So if you just buy I that, mean, yeah, then... I don't know, I don't, I don't know exactly what's going on with it, but the extra stick looks very nice, by the way. If you guys haven't seen it, um, extra looks great too. I've been watching some gameplay, trying to get ready for it. I'm gonna try and go in on that game. At husband asks, soft cookies or hard cookies? So actually, I just had some soft cookies from our good friends at Arcade Shock. At Arcade Shock. Uh, sent Chris some cookies and I started eating them and they're great soft cookies. So at the moment soft well, that's soft. soft cookies. Yeah uh... I don't know I don't, I'm not really I don't really care as long as it tastes good I'm not a huge I like hard cookies too Yeah, yeah, although nothing I mean a really good like soft chocolate chip cookie is pretty good yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to work for it. You just nibble on it. Just nibble. So I don't know what this question is about. Maybe you will. Uh, Cross Countor Live or TV, whatever. Uh, if a ten-year-old girl can fool the FGC, is anyone safe? Oh, that Comments was about. On Smash so yeah, Smash. Today. I mean, I don't care about it. Um, 
there's a couple things that happened with Smash Community. I can talk about it briefly. Um, first Thanks. off, there was this girl who beat a bunch of top players, well-known people, and turns out that the well-known people were paid to lose to her. It was a GameStop, GameSpot, wow. GameStop, whatever the fuck it was, um, promotional event. So they got paid to lose, and they were like, Bleh. and people found out and got mad about it. Whatever, you know, it's it makes your scene look stupid, but I mean, who cares? I would. I would I would personally get paid three hundred fifty dollars to lose to a little girl. Like I, I would do it. I, mean, <laughs> I don't think anyone else. It's not like it's a tournament or anything. It's literally just you know some shit games stop shit. So I mean, who cares? That's not that's not that bad. I mean, it, it's bad because there's some well known people, but it's not that bad. Um, what is bad is that there's a lot of death threats to the Apex um, organizers this past week there was death and rape threats yes to the apex organizers because they would not allow um project m i believe into the tournament or melee one of the two um it's probably project m because i think mr wizard was had some tweet about it or something like that that i saw i'm pretty sure because he said something about some some hacked game or something i'm pretty sure it's project m yeah so Apparently that happened, and I don't know the full details about it because I'm not in this machine, obviously. But I know that they, I think Apex might be pulling out, and they might not be having a tournament now. That's that's what I've heard lately. I don't know if that's confirmed or not. And you know, yeah, it's not cool. I don't know, like Smash has been trying to like push themselves into esports so fucking hard, so hard. They'll do, they're doing anything to get into esports. Like they really are. And they aren't really taking a look at how their scene is like progressing. I don't think. I think they're trying. They're looking ahead too much. They need to look in the present a lot. And ahead. It's, what, what do you mean? Huh? What do you mean looking ahead? They're looking too far in the future. They're like, you know, what? We're gonna be, you know, this esport fucking community well, once the, the thing new about game e-sports, comes out. If they think that Project M is gonna get in esports, then they're fucking retarded. Like, yeah. I mean, I, like, let's be real here. It's a hacked game. Uh, it's not a legit Nintendo game. Nintendo's never going to have anything to do with it ever. Um, people have to realize that yeah, for it's, tournaments. The fact if, that it's if, still around for tournaments, like, as somebody who's outside of it, as, like, a business standpoint, kind of, like, baffles me. Like, the you guys should I be, you guys should be fortunate to have Project M at, like, any tournament ever, period. So, I mean, it's not really a surprise for me that somebody's like, hey, we're not going to have Project M. Especially with Nintendo going, like, AWOL with, like, all these tournaments and players and all this stuff promoting their new game. Yeah, and, you know, Nintendo is finally like, hey, we're going to give you support. And, you know, that's crazy for the Smash community because previously they Nintendo made a game specifically despite competitive players, Brawl. Um, and... Yeah, so it's crazy for them to even be helping, and you're just shooting your community in the foot at this point. Like, if you're a diehard Project M fan, like, that's cool. But, you know, there's diehard fucking Rainbow Edition fans and shit. You know, I don't think they're, <laughs> yeah, you know, giving fucking... Yeah, I don't think Death Capcom goes around promoting Rainbow Edition. <laughs> Rainbow Edition's not at tournaments and shit. Like, calm down. Like, yeah, it's weird. Speaking of Omega Mode, Capcom... No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know what? Capcom made that game, though, so it's all right. They actually announced the people at Omega... The Omega Edition, um... Um... Like, against Daigo. People were playing against Daigo. Uh-huh. It's Alex Faye. Hood Man. Yeah, which I think is kind of, like, crazy. I do, too. Kelvin, which I thought was crazy as well. And then, uh... Filipino Champ. So, that's three Norcals, one SoCal. And they're all playing against Daigo in Omega Mode. And I think, uh... It's gonna be great. I love watching Hood Man play, and he figures out games and characters really fast. Kelvin's obviously he figures out tons of characters. Yep. And Filipino Champ, I mean, he's always he's just gonna on play Dalsim. Like he's just on it. <laughs> like, that's why that's all I can say. Oh, he's just on it. Like he understands a lot of things, so he can adapt fast. And I mean, Faye, you know, he plays everything, and you know, he has the whole rivalry with Daiko and shit. So I think it's gonna be a great, great event for Capcom Cup. And I'm really excited for Capcom Cup. I think there's going to be a lot of cool things there. All right. As I wink into the camera. 
Hopefully it'll last longer than a week. There's some questions that are like dumb and I'm not gonna answer. I'm sorry guys. Yeah, Derek. No. I get Punko took his shirt off, guys. I get yeah. It. Uh <laughs> I'm sorry. Not, not Harrison asks. Uh will either of you try Assassin's Creed? No. No, the new one looks bad. They've all been bad. I love Assassin's Creed. I fucking hate Assassin's Creed ever since the first one. I, I think they all suck. Love. I think they're terrible. I think they're the same game over and over and over again. But whatever. I like the same game over and over again, Harrison. I really do. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this. Do you have another question? Because I'm looking at the, all the games list. Uh, Give it to me. The Walking Dead was uh, I was walking in season two. Damn it. Uh, Anthony Love good. Max says Nintendo sent Apex a cease and desist order. Really? I'm not that's gonna nice. say that's 100 percent true because I want to see some kind of proof, but I wouldn't be surprised. But at the same time, like, is Apex really that big for Nintendo to even really care about? I uh, have a game of the year. What's your game of the year? I don't know if it came out this year. It really did come out. The XCOM come out this year? Yeah, XCOM came out this year. Yeah, definitely game of the year. Holy shit! can't believe it came out this year. Definitely game of the year for me. Game of the year. I'm looking through the, this list. Did Grand Theft Auto come out this year or was it last year? Grand Theft Auto 5 came out this year. Uh, it was good. You liked that game a lot. Yeah, it was good. I beat it and then I kind of never played it again because of the multiplayer. That's, like... that's Grand Theft Auto is so much like it. I don't like it. You don't like it? I don't like Grand Theft Auto. I, after 4, I got tainted. Like, I'm just like, yeah. I mean, the best one was San Andreas, like, hands down. Yeah, and but I know there's... everyone says that. I like Vice City a lot, too. Um, but I, I, I was so disappointed with 4. Like, I can't even handle it. It was, like, one of my biggest regrets in gaming, playing 4. And I'm not lying. Like, that's how much I didn't like it. Oh, you know what? Pokemon was good. Oh, my God. Did, uh, was, did that Zelda game come out this year? The one for 3DS? That's my game of the year, easily, if that did. I forget what came out this year. Uh, you know what's game of the year? Fucking Gamergate. That's game of the year, right there. That one. It's the best game. Um, I think I had some more questions, but they're all trolling me. Or they're talking about Punko taking his shirt off. I get it. He took his shirt off. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. Uh, the Hound, I'll get you your Risk of Rain code. I forgot. Sorry. I should give away Risk of Rain codes. I have some Risk of Rain codes. If you guys want them, just tweet me. Like, literally, just tweet me. I have, like, three. So. Oh, no. It came out last year. A Link Two Worlds came out last year. So it I don't count. know, man. I, I will, we'll have a better one at the end of the year episode. Yeah, we'll talk about actual. that later. Oh, well. Actual games. Um, I didn't play a lot of games this year, but yeah. No, I didn't. So I have a Hanzo Sword. Because okay. we're kind of over time. We are over time, so yeah. let's let's hear it. So uh, I was driving today. I, got, I was working in San Francisco, and I left work at 5. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go pick up my good buddy, Chris Seglia. And uh, Chris Seglia works downtown for some reason where you work I like work how you always have to say his last name when you when you because there's help pockets Chris there's a bunch of Chris's so uh, Mr. Sanglia, uh works downtown you know where he works because you work there too Harrison yep uh, I like to refer to it as anus that's an anus of San Francisco because I fucking hate that area and um, it took okay. me 20 minutes to get there which is three miles away which I'm fine with you know whatever there's a lot of traffic and then I couldn't park anywhere. And you know me, Harrison. I panicked. So <laughs> I, I started just driving. Like I couldn't turn until in the middle of the street. And I just drove for like 20 minutes. And then I had to turn around and I came back. And I, I was freaking out. Like I couldn't handle it. And then not only that is for some reason in San Francisco, I don't get it. But there's just like people in the middle of the road. Like there's just bikers just in the middle of the street. And there's like skateboarders and people on scooters. Not like actual motorized scooters, but actual razor scooters. Like lights. 
and it baffles me. They're in the middle of traffic and they're weaving in and out of it. Like I'm just, I like almost hit three people. Like it's so crazy to me that it's happening. And there's construction on Fourth Street where f- literally four lanes went into one lane. So it was hell. And I had to like meet Chris, and I pulled over when I shouldn't have, and almost caused like three accidents. <laughs> And and then, please tell me this was downtown. Was and then uh, we went and get, got chicken and waffles. No, I was happy. Where'd you guys go? Hard Knocks on Richmond. You know oh, that okay. place we went to um, at Lane Hammer? Uh, yes. Do you remember? Yeah, so the original place is actually in Richmond. Oh, Richmond. it is? Yeah, so it was very good. It's very cheap, too. I, I forgot. But yeah, that's what happened. That's my home this time. I panicked when I drive. <laughs> it's really not that hard to park down there either. There's like it's it's, it's so I miss okay, there was an obvious parking space and I missed I missed it, honestly. And I was like, whatever, there'll be another one. None other ones. So like it's Although, I, I know, I know you and I know you and driving don't go well together. You should have bought a smaller car. In my like opinion. a fucking Volt. <laughs> yeah, you should have just fucking bought a Volt or something like that. Just something, just... It, it would have been a Hanzo car. Instead of you, instead you got this fucking, like, huge, like, old person, like, sedan. But whatever. You get around. Anyways, that's the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Hanzo gets around. That's the end of the show. Uh... You can check out me on Twitter at Harrison SBA. You can check out Hanzo at Hanzo Gonzo. If you guys don't want to follow either of us, but still want to check out the show and other uh, FGC news related stuff, you guys can make sure you guys check us out at twitter.com slash IPL winner. Of course, facebook.com slash IPL winner. Uh, most importantly, youtube.com slash IPL winner, where you guys can go and check this out on YouTube. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And go to IPL winner.com, go to the podcast section, and you guys can check out every single show in YouTube or MP3 format right there in the iPhone archive. And then of course, check out some FGC news while you're there. All right. Is that it? Yeah. All right, guys. Peace.